Welcome to City News Edmonton. I'm Elliot Knopp, and it's a somber mood in the city today because a lot of fans are disappointed that the Oilers did not win the Stanley Cup last night. It may have felt like everyone was watching Game 7, hoping that Edmonton would break Canada's Stanley Cup drought, and you were partially right if you had that gut feeling. Game 7 was one of the most watched games in NHL history. The second most watched, in fact. It had over 16.3 million viewers on average. And if you were downtown here, you know that the city was packed wherever there were watch parties. And our Carly Robinson has more on just what exactly it looked like on the ground from a policing perspective. <laughs> Almost as soon as fans made it in through long lines into the moss pit. Please leave the area. Once again, fans at gate three, we need you to disperse. Police needing to rush to push the crowd back so a medic could reach a patient. But that was the height of the excitement. Edmonton police confirming no major incidents. I mean, it was great, but it was like that all playoffs. Like, very few, if you look even back last year when we got and some of the things that happened that got out of control quickly, um, I think we were way, way more prepared. Police did arrest five people for intoxication, with one criminal arrest for mischief, with fans remaining calm after the heartbreaking loss. I just feel depressed, like, I don't know what, like, to see them have the cup right now, it's just hurting my body so much. A far cry. From the Oilers' last big run at the Cup in 2006. It kind of reparated our blemish of 2006. Like even when you look at Wikipedia, it it doesn't describe Edmonton as a very good place in 2006, and it's literally referred to Stanley Cup riots. Dan Jones was one of the many EPS members policing the mayhem on White Ave in 2006, saying now as a criminologist, watching the massive crowds in the ICE district, he's noticed EPS using lessons learned from 18 years ago, with officers engaging positively with the crowd, building relationships, while being ready for anything. Jones also credits a culture change with fans not seeing the same level of alcohol consumption. Millennials, Gen Z, are, are just better at moderating themselves. And everyone has a cell phone camera. And <laughs> I think that makes a huge difference too. Like, you know that you're going to be on TV, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on some type of a social media if you do something stupid, and it could cost you your career. Police saying the somber yet respectful fans continuing the responsible behavior seen throughout the postseason. You know, next year, you know, but I'm so proud of the boys. They're still my boys, and I still love them, and they did great. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.